And we're back for some more uh, Super Robot Wars. Let's go ahead and load back in. All right, let's go ahead and do those uh, two onboard missions that we had first. Uh, not these. Uh, Super Electromagnetic Showdown. Hyoma and Kenichi have accepted one another, but there's still room for a showdown. Dry Striker, Hangar 1. It's about time we settled our score, Kenichi. You're on, Yoma. Voltas and Combat Alert are evenly matched in most aspects, which means the pilots make all the difference. And that's why we have the edge! Let's talk marksmanship, for instance. Juzo's a world-renowned sniper. That's why Combat Alert never misses a shot. I certainly acknowledge Juzo's talent, but when it comes to pilots of the second machine, Ipe is simply the best. Better than all the rest? He's never afraid to give us his opinion, no matter how harsh it might be. His insight has saved us more times than I can keep track of. Yeah? Well, we've got big old Dais Daisaku to keep us all safe. Don't let his easygoing attitude fool you. In battle, he keeps track and adjusts the power output of all, the c all our components. If we're talking big, then we have Dai Daijiro. I can only handle the Heaven Sword the way I do thanks to his martial arts expertise. Yeah, friends who help with what you lack, eh? I get that, because we've got Kosuke. You have no idea how many times his amazing intellect has saved our butts. Young, intelligent, and an asset to the team, just like our Hiyoshi. He may be a bit of a crybaby, but he always fights on, even during the most desperate situations. He gives us all courage. Looks like we're pretty evenly matched so far. Yeah, it's almost as if there was a formula. So it would seem. But we have Megumi on our team. Believe it or not, she's the 18th heir of the Koga Ryu style of ninjutsu. A genuine and actual Kunoichi. It's almost like these teams are clones of each other. Oh yeah? Well, we've got Chizuru. She's clever and kind. And there was that time when she still deployed despite her illness. And, and... And? And she's very cute. Ah, I see. You see what? Spit it out! I lose on this one, Hyoma. Our Volta's team lacks that sort of bond. Though for future reference, I'd like to hear more about what you think of Chizuru. Ch shut up! There's no way I'm talking about that! Now, now, don't be like that. Hold on, I'll go call the rest of my team. This seems like something that might interest everybody. Howdy, Title Rabbit, and how's it going? Though, wait a minute, since this is about the battle team, I should also call Juzo and the others. Quit adding more people! Well, if you insist, but you'll have to tell me all about it. Oh, for friggin'... Okay, but you gotta keep it to yourself, alright? No telling the guys. 2000 MXP. And a hero's jeans. Asagi gets coached by Tetsuya, but Izuru's eyes are on Koji. He's shown what it means to be his own person. Just got home from the longest afternoon ever, so you're ready for some Super Robot Wars and a beer. <laughs> uh, and yes, unfortunately you did miss a uh, pretty fantastic cross-dressing mission, but of course that'll be on YouTube tomorrow, so you, you have that to look forward to. A hero's jeans. It was pretty hilarious. Dry Strager, Hangar 1. So what you're saying is that rather than trying to set, a, set them up with a lame feint, I'd be better off just jo going, in on, going in on them? <laughs> hey, it worked! Ah, Mad Martin's gonna get, grab one himself as well. Woohoo! Drunken chatting! It isn't that simple. What I'm trying to say boils down to down more to the idea that you don't want to get so focused on responding that you let them set the pace. If that's happening, rather than waiting for them, hit them with an attack to keep things to your pace and keep the initiative mentally, if nothing else. Thank you very much. I'll try to put that to practice in combat. Still, don't forget, striking without hesitation and striking without thinking are separated by a razor's edge. Yes, I'll keep that in mind. 
Seems like Asagi and Tetsuya have been spending lots of time together since the thing with Infinity. I believe he asked Tetsuya to give him some personal coaching. Well, that seems like a good thing, don't you agree? Ever since he did, Asagi's mental state has been clearly getting a lot better. Yeah, but if Asagi gets gets to be taught by Tetsuya, I'm sure our other one is going to start making a fuss. <laughs> okay. Uh, you okay there, Azuru? Azuru, I can't really focus with you staring like that, like you were right... Like you are, right next to me. Uh, oh, I I'm sorry. I was just looking to get some resources for my next manga. This game does have some amazing character model expressions. Oh, uh, modeling your next character on me, huh? Uh, make sure to draw me looking cool. Oh, come on, Koji. You know he can't do that. It's less of a model and more that I wanted to draw a sort of biography of your battles, Koji battles. Actually, not so much your fights, but the story that connects your grandfather, your father, and you and Shiro. The one battle carried through by the whole Kabuto family is what I wanted to make a manga of. I'm not really the kind of hero you're looking for. That's not true at all. Koji, you're the inheritor of the genes of the Kabuto family, handed down together with photon power to each heroic generation. Wow, they're still wearing the same genes? Boy, those have got to be pretty ratty. Together with photon power, huh? You're right, that that is a wish handed down through the Kabuto family. Maybe it even is in our genes. Still, you've inherited some notable genes yourself, haven't you, Azuru? Well, I've never seen my parents' faces, but... Either way, your life came to be because someone wished for it. N not necessarily. He could have been an accident. Living means taking up that wish. In that sense, you and I are the same. Koji. Maybe you were maybe you think you were born just to fight, but that's a load of balloon. If you really want to, you can stop fighting anytime you want. But I will still fight. I couldn't say why I think that way until just a moment ago, but. Hearing what you just said about me carrying someone's wish feels like it released a burden around, uh, bound around my heart a bit. I want to fight for the people who trusted me with their wish and to protect the things I want to protect myself. And, well, then you go be the hero you want to see for yourself. Of course. Still, no one can be a hero alone. You need comrades. Yeah, you have to build a party. Just as Koji Kabuto has Tetsuya Tsuru, you've got Asagi. Tetsuya, and Asagi, too. Keep fighting, Azuru. I'll be there for you. Yeah, thank you. Let's be heroes together, Asagi. Tell you what, I'll let you be the hero. My job is to make you into that hero. Now that sounds like a high-difficulty mission. It certainly is. I imagine it'd be too much for just Asagi. So, since we're on the subject, let's bring the power of all the rabbits together. We'll train all of you. Everyone, assemble! Oh, wait, us too? Don't complain, not when they've offered to spend their time helping us. Well, putting aside anything about being a hero, I would very much appreciate you coaching us. Let's go! I'm not gonna fall behind Azuru and Asagi! We're a team. We've gotta, we've gotta become stronger as one. Yeah, let's do our best together. It isn't just MJP who's putting their wishes on you. We are too. Don't you give in, rabbits. You have to carve open the future with your own hands. And 2000 MXP. Don't think that I have enough for an AWS power part. Nope, I do not. Uh, probably after the next... M no, I need 20,000, not uh, 12,000. My bad. Alright, so we've got uh, a world in turmoil and a melancholy. Uh, let's go ahead and do a melancholy. Once again, the main computer directs a ship to uh, foggy Tsujidai. Before I do that, do I need to do any upgrades to...
Secret Man. I could do a few. How much money do I have? Okay, I can do, I can do that. I got range up, let's get mobility up. You take Ernie on this one too, he has a battle line, alright. Nope, that one. Ah, oh, well, as long as I'm here. Uh, Tomache and Kenichi have left on a patrol mission. Akane's room. That stupid pillar. Do something about it already. You've been in a rather foul mood lately, Akane. What seems to be the matter? That pillar keeps knocking the world around and I have to clean it up. Hmm, on the subject of the pillar, we are not the only ones who seem to be aware of it. Gridman and his friends, right? So annoying. Much like the pillars, they themselves exist outside the rules of this world. They will claim more and more of your paradise if left unchecked. No, no, I won't let them. This time I'm going to, to beat them. Beat them bloody. Akane Shinjo. Oh, Auntie, don't you know how to knock? I exist to kill Gridman. If he appears, I can turn into a kaiju on my own. Huh, is that how I made you? I don't even remember anymore. Order me to destroy him! Fine, go kill him then. The Hamtopia people are back in Tsutsujidai anyway. Uh... Akane? Looks like you need a new phone there. I'm sure Hibiki will turn up if you hang out in front of the shop. The enemy I have to defeat is Gridman, not Yuta Hibi- I don't care which one you kill, just kill him! <laughs> get. Just get lost. You haven't been able to beat Gridman either way. She threw it at Auntie at some point. Ah, okay. Maybe that was what she just did there. I'm sick of your face. Get out of my sight. Are you certain, Akane? He's useless to me anyway. Indeed. A talented genius like you has much, much more to share. Yes, indeed. You are just the kind of help I've been looking for. How does she keep that sweater on? Uh, magic? We already know magic is real. It's clearly magic. And Dry Strager! And we can bring out Rock High Lumen Reinforced Jr. <laughs> you know, just a two kilometer uh, ship and uh, um, two others just casually strolling down the street. The new coordinates that Dreistraker received turned out to be over the Pacific Ocean. Naturally, we followed them, if only to discover what whoever was sending them wanted. And sure enough, we s flew into a strange mist and ended up in Tsutsujidai, just like before. Oh, Tsutsujidai is in Ravenloft. So we agree that our mysterious hacker is most likely the same in both instances. All of Commodore Fike's investigations paint... Tsutsujidai is a perfectly ordinary Tokyo suburb. Certainly no reports of kaiju. Perhaps we're somehow in Tsutsujidai, but not the Tsutsujidai we know. What the heck? Weren't we just cruising over the ocean? This can't be right. There are all those huge things way out in the distance. Are, are those kaiju? But there's no reaction from the civilians below. It's as if they simply can't see them. And they're not paying any attention to the Hamtopia, either. Just like before. Hold on a sec. You've been here before? Mm-hmm. And we found ourselves here without knowing how we got here the last time, too. So, this is actually our town. 
I knew it was weird, but I'm not really... I'm not sure I really processed how weird until now. Let's go into town and check it out for ourselves. Hell yeah, hunting for clues to the grand mystery of Tsutsujidai. Do you mind if I stop by my place first? What? Is this really the time to get homesick? Well, when else can I go back? I want to see my mom and my friends while I'm here. Don't worry. We'll tell Commander Mitzvah. The family is always important. Go ahead and see your parents. Caliber, you should go with them and take care of them. Understood. Thank you, Amuro. We'll see you soon. Yeah, Amuro knows how important that is. You sure it's safe to let them out there on their own, Amuro? We're outsiders here, so I have a suspicion that, at, on some level, we're fundamentally incompatible with this place. And the residents are so immersed in whatever drives this place that they wouldn't even notice if anything were amiss. I see. The ones who have the best chance of finding anything would be those who straddle both worlds. Well, it's just a hunch. I agree with Lieutenant Amaro. It seems like something sets Rika and her friends apart from the rest of the town. That probably has to do with... Their relationship to Gridman is unquestionably a part of it. Come on, Rika, Yuta, Utsumi. You have to figure out what makes this place so oppressive. Tsutsujidai. I hopped off the dry Strager when I got that strange feeling, but I don't recognize the city at all. Maybe I should have brought Yuta and his friends along. Ah, we finally meet! Huh? Are you talking to me? Why, of course! Oh, hey, she, she's telling him to live long and prosper. Oh, that's so nice of her! Can I shake your hand and get your autograph? Oh, and for the autograph, you can write to my number one girl, Akane. Whoa, hold on. Slow down here. I'm getting really confused. For one thing, my autograph isn't even worth anything. Come on now. You know better than that, Ultraman. How do you know? Oh, Alexis tipped me off. Who? No? But who cares about that anyway? We should totally go out on a date. A what? Is that a no? I didn't say that. Oh, I get it. You're being cautious. You wouldn't want any evil aliens targeting Ultraman through the people closest to him. Don't worry, though. I'd never let them do that. Yeah, Akane's shown up outside of this place. Look, uh, sorry, but I've got to go. I've got places to be. Wow. Who knew Ultraman was a shy boy underneath his mask? I think I'll take this chance to see Ultraman in a more valiant light. Aya Junk Shop. I hope my mom's not too worried about me. We haven't really been in touch since I went off on my work study. I miss Namiko and Haas too, but they'd be at school right now. Gridman, will he come here? Hey, isn't it a little little early for a middle schooler to be wandering around? What do you want? Uh, just wondering if you were supposed to be in school. School? What's that? Boy, I bet you're a long story. Besides, you're filthy and you look exhausted. I'm Rika, what's your name? Auntie, I'm looking for someone. You lost someone, huh? Why don't you stay for some tea? I run a cafe, my mom's out, but I can whip up something simple for you to eat, too. To eat food? Where have I heard this kid's voice before? Tsutsu Jedi? Whoever created, created those kaiju in the fog, you can certainly feel their passion. I knew it, you can see the kaiju, too. I have to say, meeting you here makes many pieces fall into place. Yes, your personal touch uh, as an Ultra Series fan really comes through in your work. Just say what you mean already. I apologize. We're both fans, but we simply express it in different ways. 
my robots, your kaiju. I think we would simply enjoy our dream worlds. Dream world, huh? Mine's turning into a nightmare. Jutsu Jedi again? I thought I'd just take a walk while Rika and Utsumi were visiting their families. But it's weird to think that with all the fighting going on all, all over the world, this place is totally untouched. Anosilia... Anosila the second, a girl who calls herself a kaiju. Her family was once aided by the previous Gridman, so now she seeks to repay the favor by informing Yuta about the truth behind Tsutsuji Dai and Akane Shinjo's true nature. Oh no, uh, no voice. Kaiju girl Anosilis the second. We finally meet. Who are you? Have we met before? Sure we have. Don't I look familiar, or did you forget me? Anosilis the First is from the live-action American show Cyber Squad. Did was that like big in Japan or something? <laughs> Do they expect the the uh, viewers of uh, uh, Gridman to recognize that? Really sorry, but I have amnesia. What's your name? My name? Don't you know I'm a kaiju? A kaiju? I don't really understand what you mean. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> My ancestors were kaiju. <laughs> um. Hmm. Uh. So it's a little creepy. I'm just going to leave this up on the screen for a moment. If I have to be creeped out by this, you have to be creeped out by this. Gah! Care for a date? I'll tell you all about this town. So, um, what do you know? You got sleepy on your way here, didn't you? It happens to everyone who leaves town. Yeah, I genuinely don't remember that show at all, not a rogue eye. When when was that even on TV and what channel was it on? <laughs> Hey, you're right. We always go into the mist. And it puts you to sleep. It's not just the mist. So a question for you. Why do you think this world has kaiju attacks? Hmm. Are they coming through something like the blue hole to take over the world or something? Nope. All of these kaiju were created by a single person. A single lonely person. Akane Shinjo. Shinjo? Really? Akane Shinjo uses kaiju to destroy and recreate this town. She's done it over and over and over. I've been watching her for a long time. Uh, also on ABC. 95 to 96. Well, that's probably why I don't remember it. Why would she... To feel better, fix the parts she doesn't like. This town is her whole world. When she made kaiju, her heart, and this entire town along with it, turned into kaiju themselves. Shinjo's heart is a kaiju? Everyone who was killed by kaiju were people who got on her bad side. You step to the kitchen to grab food, beer, you look back at the screen, and bam! See giant face thing. Yep. Yeah, see? See? I, I do it for, uh, I do it for you, Mad Martin, and those, uh, we're gonna get creeped out like that. Kane Shinjo created this world. She's basically your god. If that's true, she's one tr twisted god. You're right. That's why she's being used by a villain from outside. You, 
You mean an alien? Another one after the Wolgaru and Poseidon? Hmm, interesting, isn't it? Wait, if you're a kaiju, why aren't you on Shinjo's side? I wasn't created by Akane Shinjo. I've been here since way before Tsutsuchidai was created. And if we leave Shinjo alone, she'll just keep creating kaiju? Yeah, just like she's been doing all along. Thanks, I have a little clearer picture of what, what I have to do. But why me? I kind of owe you a debt, passed down from when you helped my ancestor. Uh, sorry, I don't remember. It's okay. It's okay. I'm glad we had this talk. She was weird. Yeah, I'll probably have to look for that original show. Just check it out a little bit. Wait, why does a god need to go to high school anyway? Probably because she wants to go to high school. Hey, Hibiki, it's been a while, hasn't it? Shinjo. How long have you been in town? I didn't even know you got back. But don't gods know everything? Oh, so you know, huh? That makes things easier. Yeah, I think I'd probably be like that, too. Uh, some, some ellipses, uh, Yuta. Listen, Hibiki. Don't you think way too much of this town, this world... Don't you think way too much of this town, this world, is useless? So you're going to destroy those parts? Everything you don't like and then rebuild it? Is that what you're doing? Wow, you're way ahead. Not bad, Gridman. How are you making these kaiju? Are they really coming from your heart? You want to know so bad? Then I'll show you how. She's taking this a lot better here than in the show. <laughs> Salutations, I am Alexis Karen. Huh? So, you're Yuta Hibiki. Akane has told me so much about you. A an alien? Uh, who? You want to know how I'm making all these kaiju, right? He's been such a big help. He's making them? Oh, goodness me, no. I simply bring Akane's powerful designs to life. Uh, wonderful designs to life. Uh, what do you want with me? That awful pillar is throwing quite the wrench into our activities, you see. The pillar? You mean one of the pillars of light? The very same. And the same kind that have been appearing before your merry band. Do you know something about those pillars? Hmm. I suppose the simplest way of putting it is that they disrupt the world itself. They are a considerable problem for all of us. You'll understand quite soon, I suspect. Huh? Actually, you may not get the chance. You know, sense. Oh, goody! Several kaiju have appeared! Oh, hey, we've been blinded by the light! Revved up like a deuce, another runner in the night! Damage to Tsuchidai is spreading! Came out of nowhere with absolutely no forebo forewarning. Appeared as a bit on the nose. Scramble anyone who's back from Town Recon. Okie dokie! Huckbine, V2, L game, Brownie. Uh, let's see. Um, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. we got ten left. Um, Kaku Sage and V2 might be fun. Uh, bring out Ikaruga. All right. Uh, I want the Ultraman. Where's Ultraman itself? There's Ultraman itself. Seven suit, ace suit. We got five left. Okay. Now uh, we want Fa. Novelty Sword. L game. Hmm. Uh, why do I want that in your head right now, Title Rabbit? Because I always want that in everyone's head.
I just want everyone to be revved up like a deuce. Another runner in the night. You know? A manager mister. I don't... I can never remember the rest of the words. On, com on, on demand. <laughs> Um, alright, I don't think there's anyone else, so Solis and a window. Oh, I am very terrible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is true. A girl who knew my identity showed up, and a kaiju popped up right after. That can't just be... That can't be just one big coincidence, right? There's a word missing there. Exactly, Mad Martin. Exactly. What's wrong, Chief? Still sore over your the royal chewing out Moroboshi gave you for going AWOL? Heck no. And stay focused, kid. The enemy's right in front of us. Yeah, he's right. Exterminating kaiju is part of the Ultraman job description, you know. Why the heck are you? Why the heck are Yuta and Rika missing now of all times? I'm sure they'll hurry back now. Wasn't Caliber supposed to be out protecting them? Damn it, I knew I should have gone with Yuta. Hey, Chill, you're not going to help by freaking out. I'm kinda suspicious that they're both AWOL at once, but they could have been they could be having a real romantic time. You're joking! If that's the case, I would have to admire his bravery. This is no time for 3G impressions. A kaiju! Where's Gridman? Why isn't he out? Let's get out of here, Auntie. Come on. I have to go. Go? Go where? Thanks for the eggs and toast. They were good. And he's gone. I have to get moving, too. I have to get back. Is this another of yours, Shinjo? Sure is. Pretty good, right? That kaiju girl was telling the truth. What's the matter, Hibiki? You're not going to turn into Gridman? Call it back, Shinjo. You're a god, aren't you? Wow, it's like you don't even want to stop it. Don't listen to that alien. Don't you see he's manipulating you, Shinjo? I'd advise tabling this matter until you've defeated the Kaiju, or you may not like the result. Shinjo won't listen to me as long as this alien's with her. Okay, then I'll just do what I can. Well, there he goes. I thought he'd turn into Gridman right here. Hmm, perhaps there's a reason he didn't. It looks like Yuta and Riki, Rika are both on their way. Can't count on Gridman until Yuta calls him. Then we'll protect the town as best we can. All units intercept the Kaiju. All right, Kaiju have a size of 1L, which means smaller allied units and deal less damage to them. Note, however, that units with the Ignore Size skill deal the same damage, no matter the size of their opponents. Defeat all enemies, allied warship shot down. Oh, Gridman will show up after four kills. Well, that's easy. All right, first things first. X action, multi-action. Uh, uh, X action, multi-action. X action, multi action. X action, multi action. All right, let's see. We've got uh, fortune, fortune, fortune. I want to make sure that no one else has fortune. Okay. Tekadan's way. Fin funnels. Um. All right, so that's a shoot down. That's a shoot down. 
That is not a shoot down. All right. All right, so Beam Saber, and let's get a, a cheer from Umi. All right, everyone. Let's listen to some great music. Oh, hey, critical hit, and I didn't have to use a second uh, attack. Very nice. Yeah, I should get some uh, ignore size on sizes on people. And Fog gets a level. Alright, so we can restore action, so that's pretty good. Um, so we don't have any real... ...named units or anything. Okay, we got no, no real special units. Uh, what parts do you have? Let's do that. Mega Particle Cannon. Actually, no, we shouldn't do that. I was going to just keep the music going, but uh, I think we should probably work on getting... Other people with fortunes taking care of some things. Keep you. Multi action. Let's go ahead and trigger another multi action. Uh, there will be reinforcements that come in near your starting area. Uh, that's fine. Mega Beam Rifle. about to knock on Loopy this week, you see? Uh, no, I, I think it was... I. It may have been because I changed the category but didn't actually stream on the um, Saturday with the uh, Spelljammer game. That's the only thing I can think of. And it just, like, confused it. Because I have it set up to uh, do some announcements that vary based on... Um, what the category is kind of thing. Alright, see you, Yaru. Uh, yes, and uh, Legion, we will be getting that as soon as it is available. But that might be next week. So I guess you can never miss a Spelljammer game again. Yeah, it's not gonna. It's not something I can control. Sorry, I'm here now. I'm here too. Utsumi, are you mad about something? Uh, look, were you two on a date? N no way! You hesitated, I knew it! It's not really the time for a comedy bit when, the, when our town is in danger. Hibiki, forget him, we have to hurry! Got it. Let's go, Gridman. Access flash! No, don't flash us. You came for us, Gridman. You're here, Gridman. I've been waiting. Ah! It's that copycat again. Watch out, Yuda. He's going to come after Gridman. 
Gridman, today's the day I kill you! Did Shinjo make that talking kaiju too? You're distracted, Yuta. Is something wrong? Sorry, Gridman. I'll try to stay focused. We have to protect our town and everyone who lives in it. Alright, now it's a Gridman shot down. Alrighty. Um... I'll get up in the air. So, is Hyperlink the uh, the thing that puts him into the quote-unquote better form? Holy hell, those red eyes, yeah. And he might be a little evil. Full power? Eh, let's go ahead and do it. After using Hyperlink, Gridman will not be able to return to his previous form for the rest of the map. Use Hyperlink? Sure, why not? Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, that's fine. Oh, well. Uh, I also wanted to... Fairy's Blessing. Sprite's Cheer. Take you out. <laughs> I love the random music. Oh, it's so good. Pew pew. All right, two levels there for a uh, mitzvah. Is there a point where uh, all of the grunt enemies will, like, vanish? Because I'm kind of tempted to just uh, X order restore action on Gridman. No? All right. Good. Gridman, go do your thing. Uh, let's actually wait and see what your attacks are. Two to seven, one to three. All right, there we go. Nero. That is not a shoot down, really. Oh, I could have zealed. Go ahead and bravery. That's a shoot down. I perish. Just stop existing, Gridman. Stop attacking. I have questions for you. All I want to hear out of you is, you're, is you screaming as you suffer. Here I come, Gridman. He has no intention of listening to you, Yuta. Fine, we'll just do this until he can't fight anymore. And by that, I mean, like, one-shot him. Ah, so shiny and gold. Will you be back, Anti? Actually, yeah, Anti will be back, I I'm sure. <laughs> uh, 26,000 credits for that. 1,112 XP, yeah, gained a couple levels. Uh, 56 PP. Didn't really get to see this when you first acquired it, yeah. Yakushiki Gridman. I uh, got a defense up. Skill. And two levels there for Gridman. Very nice. Damn it, why can't I beat Gridman? Hang on, I have to talk to you. I have no need to talk. The only relationship we have is who's going to die first. He's gone. 
I knew it. That voice was that boy, Auntie. That mission, yeah, the mission did end when we got that full power, that power boost. That's that is right. Seems that Auntie is as useless as he seemed. He flies out on his own just to get beat. What's the point? If you don't manage your failure, he may become one of the very things defiling your world. He needs to be punished. You may even have to be prepared to dispose of him. Handle it, Alexis. You can always make another kaiju. The next one will destroy Gridman and all his allies. Right. I don't know, will it? I don't know. Uh, let's see. I did... Yeah, I did X action. You... So... Boop. Ooh, can I auto cannon you to death? Oh. All right, we'll go with the fairy staff then. Yeah, I like how I did enough. If I remember correctly, I did enough damage. We got the whole story event, the transformation, and then the enemy just blew up. Can confirm Priscilla and Brownie are even more adorbs in the anime. Awesome! I'll have to check that out. There's a multi-action. We'll go ahead and multi-action again. Let's go ahead and double synapse attack. Yeah, I'll have to check out Gridman, too. And we'll get a couple levels uh, for uh, Inoki and Keita. The, di the dimensional boundary is twisting! Oh, no! Oh, you guys? The Quaestors, what in the hell are they doing here? They're not after us, are they? I don't see Carillion fall. Attacking indiscriminately. How dare they? So many people live in this town. Oh, come on. What's going on? How are all these intruders getting in? This really is a problem, isn't it? And it all began with the intrusion of that ship. I hate them. My town. My world. They can't take it. They can't. The more the order of the world crumbles, the faster Akane's already unstable mind deteriorates in kind. That's, uh, that's kind of your plan, isn't it, Alexis? Is that my guess? Oh. Huh. This, uh... Yeah, it doesn't look so good. Th the sky! What? What is that? Captain Mitzvah, unknown objects have appeared in the up in the sky! A city. An upside-down city in the sky. Is this one of the Quaestor's tricks? Is that what that Alexis guy was trying to warn me about? Well, Akane, look at the sky. This is certainly a conundrum. No, no way. My world is... I must say I share your consternation. Your paradise is beginning to crumble. Will you allow this? Allow them to defile your world until it crumbles once and for all? No. No, I won't. This town is mine! They can't have it. I won't let them! I'll destroy anyone and everyone who tries, tries to ruin my world. Indeed, very good. Eliminate all invaders to your world. Quaestor is a bizarre inverted city. Captain Mitzvah, your orders. My first priority is to protect the town of Tsutsu Jedi. Roger that. We'll figure out the rest of the we'll figure the rest of this out later. First, we take out the kaiju and the quaestors. Yuta, can you handle this? No problem. I don't care if Shinjo made this town. Our friends, our families are the ones who live in it. We're going to fight to protect all those people. Alright, defeat all enemies. Alrighty. 
Uh, well, um... Now that wouldn't be a shoot down. All righty. That is also not a shoot down. Oh, inter so interesting that they're on a different side than the uh, uh, kaiju. Let's go ahead and Valor. Yeah, I'll just move up here. Get a level there. Beam Ram! Alright, you need a Valor as well. And then we got into space somehow. Yeah, I can just stand by right here. That's fine. All right, a few extra levels there. All right, Ultraman. All right, you need a little bit more uh, spirit. Can you get any or morale? No, you cannot. Hmm. All right, maybe I should take you to attack something else then. To smash it. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, that'll get me the uh, morale that I needed. Rock High Loom fires four times with its mega particle cannons, but only three shots are shown on the enemy side. <laughs> Maybe, maybe one of them uh, hits something else along the way. All right, limiter release. Well, he doesn't have anything to say about uh, these guys. <laughs> one missed terribly because it's manned by Randy. The fourth shot goes beyond the time. Uh, I'll go ahead and stand by it, it's fine. That's a shoot down. A robot fighting the kaiju is the perfect stage for our passions to collide. It's your kaiju creations against my masterpiece, the Ikaruga. And we will prevail. I mean, I really should watch all the shows in this, even the old ones that I have had opportunities, but not the inclination to watch. All right, uh, let's see, a Specium Sword Slash, what can we do? We got Valor. So let's X Action Smash Hit. Oh, that's enough to be a shoot down, all right. Ultraman Jack win. Ah, uh, we can't change the pilots of Ultraman. Oh, 
strap all down and make him watch all the old mecha anime. You say that like I'd actually need to be strapped down. I think I'd stand by and it's fine. Ah, uh, seven levels, nice. All right. Uh, beam cannon. Okay, next action, uh, smash it. Beam cannon, nope. All right, let's get a Valor. There we go. Yeah, I think it's on uh, Netflix right now, so I might watch that. Then again, I haven't even gotten pat gotten through uh, Iron Blooded Orphans on that. There's seven levels for Ace. Go ahead and attack sequence. Uh, I need good love. That's good enough. Oh, there is something up in the sky. Well, that is weird. Two levels there for Lechi. Right, let's go ahead and attack sequence on you. With love. Uh, okay. Next action. What parts do you have? Ah, probably should have used that. Oh well. Attack sequence, that's a shoot down. Howdy, Dracophile, how's it going? So let's see if we can see it in this, this one. No, we don't see it in in that. So it, it has to be based on the terrain that we're that the uh, machine is standing on. Three levels there for Om. All right, so let's see. Highway Plains, okay, and you are standing on what? No, you're standing on plains. Or maybe it was where the enemy was standing. That's on a building. The other one was probably on the highway. This one, I'm not sure where it was. That's on building. That's on planes. Before I do that, can I... I can Spirit. Alright, can I Spirit on you? Yes, I can. Alright, Spiral Flash. That is not enough. Uh, parts? No. X action, smash it. That's good enough. Yay, more muting on uh, Twitch.
That's enough. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can see it there. Very briefly. Three levels there for Umi. So, either building or highway does it. Let's see. We got, uh... You're on the planes. You're on building. Come over here. Smash it. Spiral flash. That's enough for a shoot down. Okay, yeah, so it seems like it's based on where we, st we are standing. Howdy, Seelan, how's it going? Of course, the animation for this attack is overriding the background quite significantly. There we go. Okay, so we can we can see it. It's a little neon. All right, quite a few levels there for Fu. All right, so what do we got? Kaiju, three kaiju, four kaiju. All right. Let's come up here. Leap Slasher on you. That's going to be shoot down. Uh, wrapped up your first rework repair class today. Excellent! Yeah, so we can see the, uh, the city in the sky with this attack. I'll keep that in mind. Go ahead and trigger that uh, multi-action. I don't know what Miracle does. <laughs> Let's just use it. Whatever. Uh, hey, there we go. Nero. Very stab. That's a lot of things on Brownie right now. Emerges from the void, carrying a plate of cheeses, meats, crackers, and a glass of Mountain Dew Rosé. Sup? I hope you brought enough for the whole class, Ortanis, because uh, I think you're going to need to share some of that. That sounds tasty. All right, we get to see any of the uh, city in the sky here. No, we're not. Oh, there we got to see it. It's weird when it sometimes shows and sometimes doesn't. Oh, zeal as well, huh? I didn't really look at everything that got put on her. I was just like, ah, oh, that's a lot of things. Well, in that case, um, Nero, do you have a cell? No, you don't. Nero, Mega Beam Cannon. Let's go for it. The pantry dimension. Howdy, Anonymous. 4X, how's it going? So 
we didn't get to see the city in the sky with uh, Uso. Just want to see what the city in the sky looks like. Oops. Uh, actually, a cell. Alright, I need a, a new bless. A new cheer. What's this about a city in the sky? Uh, a city in the sky has apparently appeared on this map. We uh, only briefly get uh, glimpses in some of our attacks. Alright, so none of his attacks. That's unfortunate. And a level for Uso. And Hado. Uh, let's go with Boost Dash, Spirit, a Cell. Alright, boost dash. Where is this last kaiju? Okay. Mm I pulled off all the parts, huh? Okay, do I have anyone who gives charge? I don't have anyone who gets charged. Well, shucks. This kaiju is just out of range. But I can do the full impact black hole cannon, and that will be enough for the kill. I guess that works. Oh, there's a reason. We just don't know exactly what the region is right now. The reason is right now. Oh, got a very. There it is. Yeah, there we go. Very odd looking city, too. Just casually fire a uh, micro black hole into this. Ah, uh, uh, 71,000 damage. The kaiju and quaestors have both been eliminated, so we managed to save the town. I really want to be all, yeah, hell yeah, Gridman, go Hamtopia, but... Yeah, that city up in the sky... Hey, Rika, can I talk to you? Can't you do it here? It's, uh, kind of private. It's more like the framework of the buildings, yeah. No, it's definitely not foreshadowing anything, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> huh? He's going to ask her out, right? No way, I thought Vid was just joking. Ibiki, did you remember what you were saying before you got amnesia? Yuta, you've left me uh, behind, haven't you? Huh? I've got to apologize for always being a third wheel between you two. I don't know what you're talking about, Utsumi. I actually need to say this to you, too. Huh? W wait, you're saying I was jumping to conclusions? You sure were. Jeez, don't make this weird. That probably means they're talking about something Gridman-related, huh? What a letdown. Not as much fun as Utsumi, but I was actually invested there for a second. So, your memories aren't back after all. And how about us, Captain? Do we check out the sky? That would be best. 
We need as much data as we can before we report to Commodore Fikes. You like that they're on top of Gridman rather than on the uh, Dre for that dialogue? Yeah. It makes sense. Oh, goody! Something else is happening. Now what? Alert from the main system. It's it's the same thing that happened the first time we came to Tsujidai. Whatever's in our system doesn't want us to be here anymore. Captain. We're leaving town. All units return to the dry state. Dry Strager on the double. Nero. <laughs> I love that anim- that animation was great. Thank you, Gridman. Now where do I go from here? Well, they seem to be taking their leave. What shall we do, Akane? Obviously, we're going to going- we're gonna go after them. But even if we catch them... Just make more kaiju. That's your job, after all. And we'll destroy everything. Everything outside of your world. Yeah, because they've had so much success doing that before. Drystrager Bridge. Today has been a lot to take in, and now we try to leave through the mist and find ourselves over the Pacific Ocean. That's right, ex it's exactly like last time. Wonder what's gonna be the longer series on YouTube, this or Krondor? Uh, number one, Krondor isn't my longest series. Number two, the episodes on this are a lot longer than Krondor's. What exactly is that Tsujidai place? All we know is that it's where we first encountered the Kaiju and Gridman. There must be some connection between that city and the Kaiju. This was Dragon Quest Builders? Uh, I don't know. I mean, that was pretty long. I, I definitely did have some very long uh, sessions on that. But I also broke the episodes up for that. XCOM files could be, then again, half of those videos on YouTube are, are uh, absent. They're hidden. Uh, your precious eyes are... are um... Actually, it's your precious ears cannot listen to them. And now the Quaestors are involved with this. I mean... I, th I think the longest non-stream LP I have is... Dragon, uh, Dragon Quest 11? That was 249. Yuta claims that Gridman has no more information about Tsutsujidai or the Kaiju than we do. Our only clue is whatever keeps bringing us here. I mean the one who hacked into the Dreistrager's main system. But we still have no clue who or what it could be. Maybe has ruled out the possibility of external intrusion. Damn it, this is all nonsense. None of it makes any sense. We don't have any leads of our own, so we'll have to let Commodore Fikes take it from here. Right, let's check out some of the other targets. Yuta seems to have have an idea, but we can't force him to tell us what before he's ready. Dreistrager, in front of junk. So you're saying Akane Shinjo is a god being preyed on by an alien? Pretty much. Sorry, but that doesn't make any sense. I could hardly believe it either, but that girl showed me. What girl? She looked like a grade schooler, but she was actually a kaiju. Dude, I'm gonna smack you. It's true, I swear. That's so weird. And freaky. So you're telling me that you just believe everything this supposed kaiju girl told you? For real? But I saw the alien too. And he looked exactly like... Like you're thinking the big bad evil boss should look. Honestly, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt just because I don't believe you could lie. Especially like this. So if we defeat Shinjo, uh, we could stop the kaiju? Maybe, but... I mean, it sounds like you you don't think we can get through to her. So we just have to stop her and this Alexis guy would have... Aren't you jumping to conclusions? You just want to see a good fight, don't you? What are you saying? It's not that I want to fight. It's that the Gridman Alliance has a duty to fight. 
Her head did grow several sizes, unlike real Japanese girls. Yeah, you know. Yeah, the, the, the little, little, little things gave it away. Little tiny things. Haven't you noticed you're the only one who calls anyone the Gridman Alliance? What are you getting at? Kane is my friend. I want to save her. So what? You want to knock on her door and ask if she'd pretty please mind not taking any more, making any more kaiju? You know we have more options than that. No one wants to fight her, fight their friends unless they absolutely have to. Haven't you been listening? Your friend is a god. If she made our town, that would would imply she could have made us too. That's... That's what we're up against. Do you think she'd listen to you? I have to try. Akane is... Your friend, right? Just listen, what if your god made you to be your friend? That can't be. My heart is... Guys, please, we're not getting anywhere fighting over this. Yuta. If these kaiju are coming from Shinjo, I also think just fighting her won't do any good. Won't do any good? What? I can't really explain it, but I think we have to save her soul. I mean, also the fact that, like, she can make the kaiju, you're fighting the kaiju, that doesn't actually stop her. She can just keep making more kaiju unless you do something to her. <laughs> we're not going to fight her, but save her? I just don't know how we're going to do that. But I want to figure that out together. That means we have to work together. Yuta, you're right. I, uh, I I'm sorry, Rika. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. I'm still working through this, so let's keep this just between us. Just within the Gridman Alliance. You're right. I don't want to see the Federation go to, I don't know, war with Shinjo or whatever. Akane knows you're Gridman, right, Yuta? Yeah, she's not exactly a fan of Gridman beating all, her, all the kaiju. Then she'll follow us to get a chance to fight Gridman. Hibiki, when she does... Right, I'll find a way to talk with her. If we can avoid fighting her. I sure hope it works. Hey, it's so nice of you to just teleport onto our uh, ship. Uh, well, uh, but how did you get on board the ship? <laughs> I want to see the outside world. Optimistic, but you'd honestly rather uh, see it go that way? Yeah. Who's this kid? I'm a kaiju. Is this the kid you said told you about Akane? Get spilling those beans, Run. Nope, you have to figure it out yourself. H hey, where are you going? Don't worry, no one will find me, I promise. And I'll help you when help you out when you have to fight. Wait, and he's gone. And he's gone. Uh, all right. That's probably a misspelling. Well, we know she's not our enemy, so we can let her do what she wants. Yeah, we've got Shinjo to worry about. Yeah. We have to keep fighting so we can save both our both the world and Shinjo. That's our that's a Gridman Alliance's mission. And Osilis, set as your supporter. Oh. Uh, Ellie, of course, being the mission ace, is no surprise. 293,000 credits, 35,512 XP, 588 PP. Yeah, definitely weird in a cute way. Uh, one skill acquired, 3,000 MXP, 2235 bonus MXP. She's a missable supporter. Oh. How could I have missed her? Like, not not doing earlier things in the game? Alright, let's see. A debt repaid. Cures all conditions on the main pilot and restores 20 SP. Gives one special double dog at the end of each mission. Is that a power part? not doing this mission and it disappearing. Oh. So 
So that is, I think that's the, the yeah, that is a power part. So I kind of, like the on use is terrible, but 60 SP, yeah. Well, and it, it's usable twice or something, right? Oh, I just want to get the power part so I can sell them. All right, so who do I take off? Um, all right, enemy has not been using uh, any map weapons. Yeah, it is better than K's Cake. I like the smash hit X action costing one less X counter. Damage boost from Analyze Spirits, decent. The special dog is a hot dog with lettuce and a boiled egg on top. That's odd. Makona's stain. Aid from Kushpercha is stain. Uh, Passion for Research is stain. Tekadan's Way is stain. Yeah, it's Possibilities of Light. That's it. Alright. There we go. Uh, let's see. 14k. So not enough. Uh, skill programs. I got... These... Give you a defense. That's fine. Okay. To Yuta, struggling with his identity as an artificial being, Yuta Hibiki opens up to Yuta Tomonaga and Deckard. I feel like that might be a little bit of a spoiler. A little premature. Let's check it out. Seems appropriate to do this at this time. Dry Traeger, Hangar 1. So Tsuchi Dai was a city entirely made by Shinjo, huh? I guess that makes all of us who live there artificial, doesn't it? Oh, okay, I, I see. It's not like they were... Like, everyone living there is artificial. Okay, alright. I, I thought it might have meant something else. Every thought running through my head now, even uh, through my head, even now, could just be a fake made up by someone else. So then, what even am I? Maybe I should talk to Utsumi or Rika. Who knows, maybe they're thinking about the same thing. No, I can't do that. I don't want to drag them down with me. What's wrong, Yuta? Is something on your mind? Oh, Yuta. Yeah, kind of. If you'd like someone to talk to, I will at least lend an ear. Thank you, Deckard. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, then? So, just, you know, as a thought. Let's say you knew someone who was, well, constructed artificially. Excuse me, I just need to look at the, uh, giant robot that is an intelligent thinking being. A conscious individual. Sentient that has been created by hand while you ask this, Yuta. Okay, moving on. <laughs> if they were trying to find out, find some meaning in their own actions, what would you say to them to try to raise their spirits a bit? Hmm. Oh, oh no, I, I'm so sorry, Deckard. I wasn't even thinking about who I was talking to. No, your problem is one of the one of the great questions we face as well, since we are also artificial. Got some heavy thoughts going on in that brain of yours, hitting puberty, kid. Still, what an interesting question. I'll connect to the network and see if there's an answer at all. No point wasting your time if you ask me. If it was that easy a problem to solve, well, none of us would have to worry about a thing, would we? 
Well, if there's, an an if there's no answer, then there's no point in worrying. Just play some soccer and forget you were ever thinking about something. Ever thinking about something. Oh, for... If you don't even know what anyone's talking about, then you should stay quiet. If Yuta's friend is, was as pure as spirit as Drill Boy, I'm sure they'd have nothing to worry about in the first place. Well, how about you, Shadow Maru? You got some great ninja wisdom to share? I've always been focused on the mission at hand. I've never had the time to worry, so when it comes to helping others with theirs, I'm out of my league. And I am the same. My first concern has always been the mission at hand. So this time I think we'll stay out of this. I see. Using your mission to get out of a tricky conversation, eh? Well then, good night. Perhaps you might find it uh, chivalrous to offer some advice to the boy if you have any. I don't have anything to offer. Ultimately, this is a problem I, too, am still grappling with. Uh, hold on a second. I got a text message that I need to respond to. doing fine, though. Regina said it too, right? You're maturing, Duke, so you don't have to worry. Uh, Alt's text from uh, Alexis Karen. Mad Martin, don't give it away. <sighs> Thank you, boss. Boss, so what do you think of the... What do you think on the subject, boss? What? Wait, me? Yeah, come on. Let's hear what you think, boss. Uh, I'm not sure I have anything worth saying. Yuta, don't get so tense. Just say what's on your mind. Hmm. Well, I don't really know if this makes sense, but does being artificial really even matter? What? Every member of the Brave Police is a robot who was made by someone, but they each have their own heart. Each one of them in the same situation has different thoughts, comes to different conclusions, and acts according to their own will. And you or I don't know what their thoughts are or anything, right? So I guess I don't really even know what an artificial heart would be or how it would be different from a natural one. I guess that's a fair point. I agree with you, Tom. There's no such thing as a real or fake heart to my or mind. Any heart that exists can only be said to exist. And that ten-year-old will come up with the best answer. Yep. If it exists, then that is all it is. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it, this kind of gets to the whole point of, like, uh, perfect clones. You know, if you have two perfect... You know, if you have a perfect clone of someone, are they someone else? And there's... You know... Essentially, they are, you know? Even if they think the exact same, and the other person can predict what they're going to think in that situation... By the fact that they're two different people, like they're two physically different individuals, once the cloning happens, then they can diverge and go their own ways. To be completely fair, the 10 year old is technically older than all the J Decker robots. Yeah, and I think uh, older than all the J Decker robots combined. Just ask Riker. Yeah, pretty much. Thank you, all of you. I'm not sure I've solved the problem, but I do feel a bit better. So did I manage to help? You were a big help. I see why you're a brave. If I'm a brave, then that makes you a capital H hero, right, Yuda? So you'll be fine. After all, a hero never loses. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I've got a lot to learn from you as a fellow Yuta, huh? Ah, you're embarrassing me, Yuta. No, but really, you're incredible, Yuta. You're a perfect fit for the role of boss of the Brave Police. Ah, uh, now you're going too far, but thank you. Oh, speaking of Yuta, uh, did you have that homework that Kochi assigned you? 
Oh, um, it was kind of tough. I'm still struggling with it. Well, I should be, hand be able to handle teaching you elementary school level problems if you'd like. Okay, so, so, uh, I, th this is a little bit more complex than I'm normally use used to. Uh, it it's a particle physics problem. Oh, thank you, Utah. Please, I could really use the help. A hero and a brave. No dastardly foe nor devious homework could stand before this ultimate team. That's right. I'm... No, we're heroes. I still have so much to do. I can't let my worries slow me down. I have to keep moving forward. And 2000 MXP. Yeah, let me just uh, follow up with that uh, text again. Hold on a second. take a uh, short break for YouTube. Get our save. And head back to the title screen. ここからは自分で進んでいくルートを決めるからやりがいがあるぜ。俺の研究によれば特定の機体の入手を早める手段もあるそうだ。本当かよ。それどうやればいいんだ。多くの場合、その機体のパイロット。加えてその関係者の撃墜数を一定以上まで上げるのが条件らしいマジンガー系の場合兄貴とテツヤさんと俺ってことだなプレイヤーのみんなも皇帝に早く会いたいなら俺たちを活躍させてくれよなはい Koji I will keep you on the bench all right, uh, so for those watching on YouTube, we'll be back with the uh, next episode. For those watching on Twitch, don't go anywhere. <laughs> 